Hi judges! Welcome to another segment of One Our Liwag Memorial High School Senior High School Math TV. Last time, we were able to discuss the standard equation of the parabola with vertex located at HK and not anymore at the origin. We're also done discussing a problem regarding the standard equation of the parabola involving its directrix and the focus. For today, we have another set of problems and we're asked to find an equation of the parabola with vertex located at 6, negative 4 and focus negative 2 and negative 4. I will be teaching you the shorter method for this one. So we will be graphing and there is a technique that I always do in order for me to get the standard equation of the parabola. So let us first write the vertex. The vertex is located at 6 and negative 4 and the focus is located at negative 2 and negative 4. We could see here that we will not be using the y-coordinate. Therefore, negative 4, negative 4, we will not be using negative 4. So, what we will do now is that this is y squared. Again, the one that is not involved should be y squared. Therefore, our equation will be y minus k quantity squared is equal to 4c times x minus h. In Tagalog, ito yung hindi natin ginalaw. So, kung ano yung hindi natin ginagalaw, kung ano yung magkamuka, if they have the same value, that is the one being squared. This is x, this is y. Therefore, we have y squared as the equation. But we do not know yet if it is opening to the left or to the right. So, let us first graph. So, if it is opening to the left, this becomes negative. If it is opening to the right, it is positive. So, let us first graph. We are given the vertex located at 6 and negative 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4. This is our vertex. We're also given the focus. The focus is located at negative 2, negative 4. This is negative 2. Negative 1, negative 2, negative 4. Okay. This is our vertex and this is the focus. Therefore, the vertex is to the right of the focus and the focus is... In the left of the vertex, therefore our parabola is opening to the left. Our parabola now is opening to the left. This is the length of the lattice rectum. This is the length of the lattice rectum. Sorry for my graph. Okay, so we're now ready to determine. We're now ready to determine the directrix. So how do we find the directrix? From this one, from the focus, okay, from the focus, the focus is located at negative 2, negative 4, and the vertex is located at 6 and negative 4. Let us subtract from left to right. Negative 2 minus 6. Therefore, C now is equal to negative 2 minus 6. Therefore, C is equal to negative 2 minus 6. Negative 2 minus 6, it becomes negative 8. Therefore, the value of C is negative 8. Okay, from this one, we will add 8. So, from 6, let's add 8, 6. 6 plus 8 is, what is 6 plus 8? 6 plus 8 is 14. So, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So, this is our directrix. Where the directrix is x is equal to positive 14. Okay, so we're now ready to substitute this to the equation. Therefore, we'll be having y minus k quantity squared is equal to 4c times x minus h. Where the vertex is located at 6 and negative 4, this is our h and this is our k. y minus k, do not be confused. This is the value of k. Negative, negative, that becomes y plus 4 quantity squared is equal to 4 times negative 8 times x minus 6. y plus 4 quantity squared is equal to 4 times negative 8 that becomes negative 32 times x minus 6. The length of the lattice rectum, that is 4 times the absolute value of c, 4 times the absolute value of negative 8, that becomes 4 times 8. Therefore, the length of the lattice rectum is 32 units. And the equation of the parabola now, opening to the left, it is negative. 
we'll be having y plus 4 quantity squared is equal to negative 32 times x minus 6. Therefore, this is our answer. Thank you for watching my YouTube tutorial for today and I hope you like and learn something from this. Do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, like, comment any problem that you may want me to answer. And once again, I am Engineer Jad Edward Hernandez. God bless and goodbye.